Today we're going to share four strange facts about this recent crisis. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here, and we're going to share four personal uh, facts that we uh, have endured or went through or experienced during this recent crisis of 2020. <clears throat> and I'll start off, I'm going to get, get to the point here. You know what the crisis is, right? I hope you understand. Um, for the last four months, I have used two Starbucks cups, 30 ounce Starbucks cups, repeatedly, over and over and over. And I wash them and I rinse them, I reuse them, I'm repurposing them, as people like to say in the feel-good industry of, uh, of the environment and all that stuff. But uh, I always like doing that. I love somehow drinking. I make instant coffee here and, and tea, tea bags, and I use this, this, these 30-ounce Starbucks cups. And I've used the same freaking two cups, hand-washed, for like 120 days. Um, and they finally broke. Uh, they just, they, they lasted a long time. It's pretty impressive. So I went on the interwebs and I bought uh, maybe a 25 pack of similar 30 ounce or 32 ounce cups. You know, those cold iced coffee cups that you get at Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks. And they are a piece of shit. I swear to God. They last maybe two or three times before the lid no longer can contain the, <clears throat> I'm using one here. I mean, this is crap. I mean, it's not leaking now. Yeah, it's leaking. See, it's shit. You're not, you shouldn't have to be able to, you, know, you shouldn't turn the freaking cup and have it leak out. It's so annoying. Uh, buying this Chinese crap on, on Amazon, it's, it's horrible. But I'll have a drink while we talk about it. So I'm going to go back on Amazon. I, I don't think I can return these, but I'll give it a one-star review just to, to let everybody know. But yeah, that's what... We like to do. We, we, we have this weird pet peeve and everybody in my family looks at me like I'm some sort of gross person. And I use the same damn cup and straw for that matter for months on end. And I kind of miss the Starbucks. We don't go to Starbucks. Uh, I guess some people in my family don't want other people touching our cups. Everything's covered in green slime. It's going to kill us on the spot. We don't believe that, but we'll just go along with it. Anyway, number two, we haven't been inside a supermarket since mid-March 2020. So that's nearly four months of time that it's gone by. We've done all, all our ordering online, which was a real hassle in the beginning. You had to wait a week and half the crap didn't show up until you figure it out. You go to places like the ShopRite in Flemington, New Jersey, and they have, uh, they're really, they're on their game there. And, and then we went to butchers and all sorts of other places. But I haven't been inside a supermarket. I used to love, I had a whole uh, playlist here dedicated to supermarkets. And I kind of miss it. Um, but I'm not going to wear a mask. I'm not going in to these supermarkets and looking at all these other weird zombies wearing masks. I, I just won't do it. I'd rather just sit there in the parking lot, let the mask wearing tenant uh, attendant come out and... Uh, push the bags to our car and I'll be happy. I just don't want to wear a mask. Number three, and this is similar to number two, we haven't been into any freaking store, retail store like a Macy's or a shopping mall or a TJ Maxx or any kind of pottery barn or whatever it may be in since mid-March 2020. Um, it was fun browsing and shopping. We didn't really, you know, go broke or spend money or go into debt for anything but it was fun to go shopping and every now and then you found something practical but we also liked observing how other people live because it's kind of important to keep a pulse on what the rest of the world is doing and you got a good data sample every time you went out shopping to look at a how fat are people what are people doing is everybody heads down on their phone etc it was fun to see what the rest of the world was doing now you don't know we really don't know what the rest of the world is doing. They're probably online getting scared by propaganda. But that's it. Number four, um, we do not own any surgical masks. Um, I will never wear a mask, I mean, by force, uh, that's for sure. It's uh, just something we don't want to do. We do own N95 masks like any smart family household will for dusting and spray painting or whatever it may be. And they're used. They probably have toxins in them already. 
Um, and we keep one and I keep one in the car just in case there's like kind of like an emergency situation where I'm, I absolutely need to go into a store and if they, if they get some sort of emergency thing, you know, I don't know, bandages or whatever it may, it may be for our children or somebody in our family, I, I will keep one in there just so I can uh, accomplish my goal. But um, I hope it never gets to that point. So it's been 120 days in this strange new world. But I have faith that I'm not saying the word new normal. I hate, I absolutely hate the fact that they're repeating. This is the new normal. This is the new normal. They're repeating it over and over so that you accept it. We don't accept it. It's not the new normal for us. Um, we notice that most people are very pliable and easily bendable to, uh, to accept these new standards. But we're not, we're not accepting it. And we're, we have like really good faith that it's going to actually get back to the way it was um, before this retarded thing started going on. So that's it. If you like the video, please hit the bell and the subscribe button. Please, please, I need a thousand subscribers. I'm getting, I'm getting hardly any people watching. If you could tell me how to hit key, I, I'm putting all the keywords and hashtags and everything in my post. It's just very hard. Maybe I don't have enough cutscenes. I have to do 50,000 cutscenes, and I'm not doing that because I want to edit my video and publish it. I don't want to sit there for five hours cutting and pasting scenes. Have a nice week ahead.